Good morning, how are we all doing? Welcome back to a new video. It feels like it's been so long since I sat down and filmed something, so this is feeling a bit strange. But I have quite a few new spring pieces in my wardrobe that I wanted to show you guys. I did a little bit of shopping. That spending ban that I tried to put myself on at the start of the year just really didn't work, and I feel like actually now I have gone overboard, especially now the warmer weather is creeping in. My favorite time of year, I just wanna buy all the things. So I picked up some pieces from Mango. We have quite a few new denim pieces, which I'm really excited to share with you because I think I found a couple of really great new denim pieces. Whether you're taller and you're looking for something more cropped or if you're a short girly like me, a couple of these actually fit me perfectly. So I'm really excited to share these recommendations with you. Also bought a lot of shoes, a lot of shoes. Anyway, without me chatting anymore, let's just dive right in. I'm going to share the mango denim with you first. I picked up two of the same style of jeans, but in different washes. These are the Matilda... Yeah, Matilda style of jean. They're like a straight leg. I think they are meant to be a bit cropped, but on me, obviously, just they're not. They're like a full length jean, which is wonderful. I got these in a size 36, and apparently they're a mid waist. As a girl with a very short torso, <laughs> these are basically high waisted on me. But I got this bleached tone, which I think felt a little bit different when I was looking at it on the website. I don't love it, I will show it to you anyway, but I also picked up this colour. It's quite a like standard blue, but I actually don't have this kind of like washed out blue in my wardrobe. I have a Zara pair which are a little bit, oh my god, I've got a hair on my face and it's itching me so much. It's more of a wider leg, straight leg. Like some of these straight legs I'm trying on, I'm like, this is the boyfriend pants, uh, what, how, who labelled this? These are way more of an actual straight leg but like not a straight leg that's basically a skinny that straight legs they're being mismarketed to make sales let me tell you this and yeah same style but they're definitely definitely high-waisted but i really like these even though they just feel like a very generic blue wash like i feel like i see this on everyone everywhere i actually do really like it because my other ones like i said they're just too blue like they feel more like a color than a neutral and i like my denims to feel like neutrals so yeah these are lovely they also just feel really nice and soft as well i know nothing about denim quality and what like soft scrunchy denim actually means it probably doesn't mean anything good but i i personally when i put denim on i don't want it to feel stiff I want it to feel really comfortable and these are very comfortable again got those in a size 36 and then i also got this pair i don't love these as much again a straight leg but this is more of a skinny jean straight leg like that sorry look at that it's giving it's giving skinny jean so they're okay i just don't love how they sit these are actually more of a mid-rise and i don't love how they sit on my waist i'm just not really a fan of a mid-rise in a more fitted jean in a baggy jean yes because you the silhouette is different but with a more skinny to straight leg they're tight around the area that i want to be skimmed you know for a nice silhouette it's just not for me but i'll show you them anyway so this is the matilda jean in the darker blue wash i have minimal notes on this like i don't really know what there is to say they fit really well they're not too baggy on the leg they work really nicely with my uggs and then i just love them with like an oversized knit over the top this knit is from pretty lavish by the way it's one of my favorites i have it in black as well yeah i just think they're a really lovely spring pair of jeans and these are the other matilda jeans but oddly the color's not the only thing that is different between these two pairs of jeans which is kind of confusing like i don't know why they've given them the same style name because they fit so differently so the back is like gapey whereas the other pair just fit super snug to my waist and they're the same like around here so it's not like there's a whole sizing difference but then they're also a lot longer on the leg so much better for the taller girls but the inconsistency is just a bit odd to me like are all of the pairs of the darker blue matilda jeans like that or is it just some did i get a random fluke like it's it's confusing but yeah i just don't love the wash of these i think if they had a bit more depth to them like they're just all one color like the whole way around and i feel like it makes them look a little bit cheap so yeah not not for me personally i feel like i might be about to change my mind on these i'm not sure so i think the mid rise is just going to take some getting used to but i kind of really like the wash of them i don't know how i feel about wearing them with uggs but i can't decide whether they these would be amazing with like a heel i'd probably have to crop them if not i don't know 
I don't know. Something's off, so I'm I'm gonna pass. I hope you enjoyed those mango denim pieces. I actually have a pair of shoes from Mango as well, which I want your opinion on. I've gone a bit shoe crazy. I feel like it was a mistake, but sometimes you've got to just make the mistakes, you know? Now these, I want to try on with some of the denim. I think I'm gonna try them on with the next pair of jeans, so I might show you the next two pieces together. I got the fishnet ballet flats that everyone has. It's making me want them. Now, if these were red, in colour they would basically be a very expensive satsuma or orange clementine packaging net over your feet it's also at this time of year giving frostbite these are being marketed as a spring shoe but i'm looking at these like actually these are giving summer this is this is giving frostbite there is nothing to this shoe they look good on other people but on me i'm not sure in principle how much i'm enjoying seeing my toes you know, I think some of them work because they're actually a lot more opaque, but these are just, you can see straight through them. I don't have the worst toes in the world, but I don't want to be seeing them all the live long day, especially in spring. I'm not ready to be pedicuring yet, so you can let me know what you think about these. I thought they'd be cute with like summer dresses, like white floaty summer dresses. They're kind of like tough and a little bit like they're like a grungy ballet flat so i thought the contrast would be nice but actually now that i have them in front of me and i've tried them on i'm not sold i would love your opinions on them though but i did think they would be nice with this pair of denim jeans that i got from suzanne let me just button them up for you because that's not it's not chic anyway these are a lighter wash this is probably my favorite wash to wear in the summer these are what i thought this pair from mango were going to be is that, is that making sense these i don't love that it's just kind of they look quite cheap but these have got like a nice bit of distressing on them there's something about it that has a little bit more depth let me tell you i love the fit of these i have been eyeing these up on suzanne for so long they just look like the perfect pair of denim jeans and i actually think they are i actually think they are they fit really nicely around the waist they skim where I want them to skim. They're a great length on me as a shorter girly. I think on the chic Parisian woman, they're meant to be like a crop, but as we've already discussed, that's not that's not a thing for me. I'm also good in the cropped department. I cropped my Holland Cooper jeans, like every single pair <laughs> I have cropped. I went a bit crazy with the cropping last year and that is why I now need <laughs> new jeans because actually none of them work outside of a ballet flat none of them work i want to be able to wear a pair of jeans with a sneaker so hence my current denim splurge but yeah i love these could not recommend them more highly again they're very soft they've got a little bit more thickness to them than the mango jeans but they're still very soft if that makes sense i actually just feel like the quality of these does feel a bit better but it's probably reflected in the price as well because i feel like suzanne jeans are a little bit more expensive but it doesn't say on the label but yeah i will link everything in the info box but yeah these are giving like vintage levi's in the best way but without the annoying buttons down the zipper because no girl needs that when you're desperate to pee i got these in a size 36 and it's love so I'll show you those with the ballet flats now. Okay, the Suzanne jeans, I love. They're so nice around the waist. And then I just feel like they have the perfect shape on the legs. They're also tapered more towards the bottom. I don't know if you can see, they kind of go in a tiny bit. But I think the fit of these is so nice. When I look at the rear view, I just think it's nice. Like this, it's got the perfect amount of bagginess on the leg. I would like these in every wash please like they're just the perfect length as well i know they're meant to be more like cropped on most people but i like the fact that they just hit my foot i think it makes it really nice for wearing with a sandal and also potentially with a ballet flat so let's try that now okay be honest what do we think some angles i think they look great some angles i'm not sure and then sometimes i look in the viewfinder and i'm like hell no what do we think Oh, and you get what I mean about the seeing my foot? I'm just not convinced that I want to be seeing that much of my feet. What do we think? I have a feeling you guys might just flat out hate them. I'd be interested to see them with a floaty dress in the summer though. Also new in from Suzanne, I picked up this guardian. Oh my god, it's so cute. I want to just like throw it on right now i actually have also purchased this they gifted me this when i went to their store their showroom in paris i've also bought the pink one myself since getting home because i regretted not getting the pink one so badly so the pink one is working its way to me right now i cannot wait for it to arrive but in the meantime i have this cute gray one it looks really nice with a pair of blue denim 
a nice like light springy look and I love it both fully buttoned up but also just with the top button done up and then a little crop tee underneath I think that's really cute now on the website the length of these they don't look too long when I hold it up it doesn't actually look too long but on me when I try it on it's actually quite lengthy it goes to show that I just have no torso I originally tried this on in a small and it was just like fully oversized on me so I got an extra small however I would say I couldn't go although I want more cropped and more fitted than this I couldn't go any more cropped because the arms on these are whilst the body is oversized the arms are not so just bear that in mind when you're picking size wise the arms are very very slim and here we have the little grey cardigan of dreams I just love this I want this in every colour like Suzanne really have me breaking my rule about multiple colours out here but this is just so nice it's just so like effortlessly slouchy like obviously the french make the perfect like effortlessly slouchy cardigans and the sleeves roll up so nice like they just they just know what they're doing when it comes to a cute tucked in cardigan i can't wait for my pink one to arrive with these jeans it's just going to be giving like barbie but in the best way like french chic barbie so yeah i've just paired it with my Cezanne jeans which i am going to be cutting the tag out of immediately what is going on with the lighting in here today this room i actually <laughs> I really struggle with the lighting in this room. Windows from all angles and we still can't get the lighting right, it's crazy. I've also paired it with my YSL boucle teddy bear flats. I think it's just a really nice relaxed little look. I have also tried this with my wide leg trousers and it looks so nice but it's giving corporate girly which is not a bad thing but I personally am not a corporate baddie so not really appropriate for me however if I worked in an office I would 100% be getting one of these and multiple pairs of the nice cos trousers and that would be my uniform like it looks really cute with the darker grey ones that I have just there I'll try and remember to link those if I can it's just so nice and I think I could even get away with like in the summer wearing this with like my linen trousers on days that it is colder and I need to like put a cardigan on this is just going to be the perfect transitional piece that I can chuck on over things in the summer but also layer throughout the winter anyway moving on and then I also picked up this jumper which is just so cute i think it's from the new italian inspired collection and i just love the colors of this like this, this is all of my favorite colors in a jumper love i think this would be both really nice right now with a pair of blue jeans the denim is really doing its work already but also during the summer this will be really nice as something that i can kind of layer over the top of things if it gets a bit chilly a pair of cute white shorts for example i think this would look really nice with i've also seen it styled up with like a yellow skirt on the website which i just think is so fun I don't know if it's a little bit too fun for me so I didn't make a purchase there but I do think with like an a-line skirt of some kind even in a black this would look really cute it's also just so lovely and thick I haven't had a top that's like a long sleeve fitted top that is this quality in such a long time like becoming acquainted with Suzanne has really changed my what i want out of shopping it is more mid-range than like full high street but the price is just really reflected in the quality of the clothing i just love their clothes so much i now really get the hype so yeah this makes me so happy i recently started trying to buy more clothes for the colder months that like make me happy i do it so much with my summer wardrobe and every year i'm so excited to get the same shit out that i've been wearing for like years and years because my approach to summer clothing is always like buy what makes you happy i guess because i wear it for so such a small amount of time i don't really over think it and i never do that with my winter clothes and i my winter clothes don't make me happy it's just a mess of neutrals so i am trying to incorporate a few more textures and patterns here and there just to make my in-between wardrobe feel a bit more fun and this this is fun i love this this is the striped jumper how adorable is she it's definitely more cropped which i think is just perfect for tucking into jeans like there's not going to be any bunching or anything I should have tucked this to be honest when I was putting my jeans on but just so you can kind of see how it also looks tucked in. It's just so nice. I love the colours so much and I think especially going into summer like a lot of my accessories I have like pink bags, like a nudie pink bag, I have orange bags. I think I'm just going to get a lot of wear out of this and it's just going to fit really seamlessly into my wardrobe or I hope so at least if I get cold I can just have a little kind of vest top something underneath and whip this off put it over my shoulders and I think that would look really cute as well yeah very happy with this super happy with the fit like it's just a really it's fitted but it's really comfortable it's not too tight under the arms it's got this really fun giant button detailing on the side it reminds me of chocolate buttons yeah I love this I'm also very excited to announce that I got my favorite shirt in just the plain white do you know they also do this with a heart print on it 
I'm gonna need it. I'm going to need it. Yeah, it's it lives rent free in my brain along with the pink cardigan that has lived rent free in my brain for weeks and weeks now. So I have my favorite stripy shirt from Suzanne. I adore this. I wear this literally every single week with a white pair of jeans. It would look cute with other colors as well, but I just love it with a white pair of jeans. And I know I'll wear it so much this summer with like a high-waisted white pair of like shorts or white skirt. I've got like a, well, I've actually got a white skirt, so we'll go with that. I'll be wearing that with this and then like a brown belt. It's just gonna be so stunning. It's just gorgeous. This is what kind of started my love affair with Suzanne. I put that on and I was like, this is the best fitting shirt I've ever worn. So I picked it up in the white which i'm going against my rule of not purchasing items in multiple colors but i think when it comes to the perfect white shirt we can overlook that rule because this really is just a gorgeous gorgeous shirt i love the fit of their shirt so much so i got a size 36 i actually got this in a 34 so i'm hoping i haven't messed up here we will try this on because i haven't really fully i think i threw this on for like five seconds and i wasn't really actually paying attention so i'm hoping that this still fits really nicely and i didn't need a size down but the quality is just gorgeous it feels lovely and they're so comfortable to wear really breathable just such a big fan of their shirts so the white shirt i've paired with my cos black jeans i've also thrown on the mango ballet flats again because i'm just trying to convince myself to love them for absolutely no reason i love this shirt i like to back tuck it have it loose at the front and do the top couple of buttons sometimes if we're feeling like a little bit fruity this middle button but i thought just in terms of styling today i would keep it done up and i just love it i love the way it slouches like the more you wear them as well the more like slouchy they get this is just kind of fresh out the box it's still got some creases and stuff and i just love it i love that slouchiness but without being too soft that it like clings to weird points like the fit of this is just stunning i think because it is similarly to the cardigan it's fitted on the arms but then it's oversized on the body so you're getting this really lovely slouchy silhouette but without feeling like too bulky which is something that i do like struggle with when i dress a lot i like oversized but i don't want oversized necessarily the whole way over so yeah i'm a big fan of these shirts can't wait to get my hands on the heart print that is next on my list my final suzanne item is this really adorable little raffia bag <laughs> it's so cute this is obviously not really super spring appropriate but i couldn't pass it up for the fact that i have quite a few trips coming up i love a little bucket bag i love the fact that it's just a little top handle i have a raffia clutch which i wore so much last summer they literally go with everything but the clutch is just a bit clunky sometimes and sometimes i wish i could just have a spare hand you know so this is perfect for if i like need to be hands-free at any point whereas the clutch i just have to be gripping onto at all times and it's also just so cute i love the bow it's so girly and I, yeah very very happy with this purchase not to give you whiplash but we have have something that's like the complete opposite of the bag that i just showed you i don't know if this is still available because i think i got one of the last of these but i picked up this was actually a while ago now but i really haven't seen you guys at all to show you this i think it might have appeared in one vlog very briefly but i wanted to take a moment for this i want to call it a trench but it's not really a trench this long structured leather coat from cos i this lived rent free in my brain like when i was trying not to shop very much at the start of the year i put off buying this for i think about two months i was watching the stock go down and go down and go down and i just couldn't stop thinking about this it's so expensive for a high street piece but in the end i just took the plunge and i picked it up it's the most gorgeous chocolatey colored leather coat and the reason i love this is partly because of the color because i love my tan mango coat and my black mango coat but there was nothing in between and sometimes i felt like the tan one was too light and the black was just not really adding to the outfit so this has been perfect and you know how much i've been loving like a pair of jeans a slouchy tee my uggs and this just tops it off perfectly and kind of adds a bit more of a smartness and an edginess to an outfit and i just love it so much and because of the color of it i know that it's going to come straight back out in the autumn after not wearing it through the summer it was a very expensive purchase but one that i feel is very worthwhile i just love the structure of this coat it's basically exactly the same as my mango ones but in the leather but the structure is exactly the same and it's just so gorgeous so i'm going to show you that one now so i've just thrown the leather trench on over the suzanne top and jeans pair of uggs i love this coat 
fits so well. I think I got a size 34. Like the fit is made to be very oversized because I am not a 34. I love it. It's actually one of the few leather coats that I've ever worn that doesn't make me feel like I'm cosplaying Keanu Reeves in The Matrix. Like I just don't feel like that at all. Maybe <laughs> that might be how some people perceive it, but I don't feel like that, you know? I don't feel silly in it. Whereas I've definitely tried on leather coats before and felt a bit like off. It's got nice big pockets, like super, oh, what is in here? <laughs> Vintage earrings. It's got super deep pockets, perfect for losing all my stuff in, but it's just actually worked seamlessly into my wardrobe and I love that about it. I think that's the sign of a really good piece and I love the fact that it's this dark chocolatey brown. I think it just, it suits my like hair colour, skin tone quite well, but yeah, just works in perfectly with so many things that I already own. So yeah, hopefully I'll be wearing this for a long time to come. I mean, I'm gonna force myself to because it was extortionate. Anyway, moving on. Now, I'm gonna need you guys to tell me <laughs> what you think of this because this I love. I was gifted it when I went to the Cezanne showroom in Paris. It is so cute, but I actually just can't tell if this quilted style of coat or jacket really suits me. I have a lot of friends that have them and they look so cute in them. And I'm like, maybe I'm not cool enough to wear this. Like, I don't know if I could pull this off. My friend Kate would look unreal in this and she'd pull this off so effortlessly, but I don't know if I'm gonna look silly. So I'm gonna need you guys to tell me. I see myself wearing this more throughout the summer with a white tee and a white skirt underneath. So this is kind of more of the statement piece of the outfit. And then a really cute pair of trainers. I think because it's so oversized, that's kind of the way I need to wear it. I'm not sure if this will work with me wearing it with like a baggy pair of jeans and a chunky pair of shoes like is it just too much and too oversized i got this in a size 34 and this like you're really going to want to size down in this if you don't like things that are crazy oversized but i just loved the colors in it but i'm also thrown because i feel like my nan would love this so i i'm just not sure i'm going to be able to pull it off but am i going to wear it anyway yes it does also look really cute though with my acne scarf, like my big cream chunky acne scarf. So maybe I can get away with wearing it like now on the colder days. I don't know, you can let me know. I'll try it on next and I'm gonna try it on with the following pairs of shoes. I really wanted a colorful pair of Adidas Sambas. I love my black pair and I've been getting so much wear out of them. And then I went in Selfridges and I saw two pairs of shoes that I loved. The first being these, and how cute would these be with my like baggier straight leg jeans? I just think they're amazing. Also with my white jeans that I have from COS that I've been wearing nonstop, I think this is a really nice replacement for my Uggs because I'm going to have to retire the Uggs for the season very, very soon. And I'm really sad about that. So this is me in panic mode, like what, what am I wearing instead? And the go-to for me is always going to be trainers. I did very briefly dabble with a pair of loafers. Once again, it did not work out for me. I'm just not a smart loafer girly. I think day to day I'm a boot or a trainers kind of girl. But anyway, I loved the colour of these. They're such a beautiful, like dusky bubblegum pink. They're so fun. They've got the purple back to them. And then the striping to them is like an off black with a hint of blue, but still very much like when you actually look at them in real life, still a black. So these aren't actually sambas. They're a pair of gazelles, but just love them so much i think the color is so cute and then i also picked up these so these are a chunkier pair of gazelles and actually for me i think these actually suit me a little bit better like i do just prefer a slightly chunkier trainer but i love both of them for like different purposes you know but yeah these are the red with the fuchsia laces back stripes i just i'm obsessed with them when i tried these on in store i had my white cos jeans on and then i had a white top but my red cashmere jumper thrown over my shoulders and it was just that I was sold. Like the whole look just worked really nicely together. And I think that base of an outfit with the pop-up color is a really nice way for me as a neutral lover that loves color. Like I love color. I think it's a really nice way for me to work color into my wardrobe, but without changing the whole base structure of my wardrobe. So I'll show you both of those and the crazy grandma cardigan all together. I'm scared of what you're gonna say, but <laughs> it's really cute i think worn like oversized with like a pair of shorts underneath and a white vest top this vest top by the way is also from mango i've completely forgot about it when i was taking you through all the things i bought i actually bought that as well i think i do think it's really cute <laughs> i'm gonna show you it with a pair of jeans on in a second as well so we can get the full 
picture but I do like how oversized and baggy it is especially like over my thighs which I do like to skim over more especially like in the summer months and I actually don't have a jacket that is this length either I think it's a really good length on me I'm aware if you've got a longer body or you're taller like it's not going to hit at the same point but for me it's like that mid thigh I think it's quite a flattering point that it kind of stops at and I just love it with like a plain outfit underneath it's cute right tell me it's cute <laughs> I'm also wearing it with the pink adidas gazelles that are the not chunky ones I really like these ones for if I've got a bare leg whereas I prefer the chunkier ones with a trainer but I think overall it's just a really cute little look and even when you take the jacket off like with the score and the trainers and the bag it's just like it still works which I find quite hard to do sometimes you know when you like put a jacket on and the jacket is the outfit and then underneath just doesn't slap but I think this is cute please don't comment saying drink every time she says cute because we need to be out here promoting responsible drinking okay <laughs> miss spicy margarita lol anyway I'm gonna show you these now this is the jacket with jeans I <laughs> I'm not sure I'm just not sure whenever I try it on in more of a summer jacket capacity I really like it but I think with like denim and a pair of trainers like I don't love it and I love like this combo this denim combo with these trainers without this jacket but with this jacket no and then my final item is both a spring but also a summer item how cute is this bag i was i was actually shopping on anthropology for homeware stuff and i saw this in shape it is basically a dupe for the Miu Miu bags that everyone has right now and i love like the pink color is actually very similar to the color of the pink Miu Miu bags in this style but instead of the quilting it's fully beaded like the quality of this is unreal it's got a nice chunky zip in the middle and i think this is a really nice one not only for spring and summer in the uk but also for holidays it's quite versatile like if i wanted to go full color these two together so cute so that is my final item from this not so little spring to early summer haul i'm really excited to get wearing all of this let me know what you loved and didn't love in the comments and i will see you guys again very very soon for some probably quite summery content i have got a few trips coming up so if you're not down for the spring hauls you just want to skip straight to summer don't worry because i will have you covered love you bye